All right, y'all, so I'm going to do a video because it was requested. So I'm going to do a video showing the easiest ways to do the chirp scratch and the actual stab, which is also called a chop. But uh, we'll start off with the chirp and then I might make the other video, the stab, a separate video. But we'll see how long this runs. Anyway... A uh, little bit of history, the uh, chirp was made popular by the Philadelphia DJs like Cash Money, DJ Jazzy Jeff, and basically what the chirp was, was it was done with uh, a sound like that, but um, he would chop the record, chop the record, or move the record, and make it sound like a bird chirping, so let's see if I can do that. Okay, so something similar to that. Anyway, um, so let's just get into the easiest way I can explain how to do a chirp is basically you're going to think about it in this motion. So you're gonna kinda, we're gonna use the ah sound. Which kinda starts here at 12 o'clock. So we're gonna kinda go in to the sound a little bit more at about maybe one o'clock. And we're gonna think about it this way. Our hands are gonna kind of um, come together and then they're gonna go apart. And I know it sounds kind of weird, but when I start doing it, you'll start to hear the sound, okay? So coming in a little bit in the scratch, okay? And then we're gonna pull it up, pull it back. And then we're going to push it away. See? So watch. Together, apart, together, apart, together, apart. And then eventually what's going to end up happening is, you know, you'll shorten up the, the fader movement where you won't have to pull it all the way over and then take it all the way back. It'll just shorten up. For those of you scratching on this side, same thing applies. Um, Hands are going to come together and apart. Together, apart, together, apart, together, apart. And then of course, it'll start to shorten up. Okay. <coughs> A uh, hamster. Let's see if I can explain this one. So your hands almost, instead of being the together and apart, now they kind of follow each other. So they kind of go together like this, like this way and then back. So it's almost like this, your fader and record hand kind of follow that same direction. Okay, so let's see if I can do this real quick. So it's like your hands are both following that direction, going in a counterclockwise direction. There you go. And then watch. And then it'll follow this way. So that they kind of follow each other. So those are the different ways to do the chirp with normal and reverse uh, hamster style. Uh, as far as working up your speed, I mean, that's just going to come with time. Uh, just keep 
you know, keep uh, practicing it. And just as time goes on, just try to shorten up your movements a little bit more. And the movements will shorten up with the record hand plus the fader. So when you go all the way to the, uh, to the end, see how much more space I cover with the record and back. Okay, now watch when I shorten up the, the movement. Watch the, the arrow here. See how the arrow doesn't go so far over? Now, that's the slow way to learn. So I'm basically going from like 12 to one. As I speed up, it basically stays around the 12 o'clock mark. So hopefully that video kind of helps you guys out a little bit. And uh, just keep practicing, guys. Peace.